Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Math School Learn to Succeed. In this channel, I'll be teaching you Karnataka Board Class 10th SLC Insert Math. In today's video, let us solve the question number 12, 13 and 14 from exercise 1.3, chapter number 1, Arithmetic Progressions. In my previous videos, I've solved the questions from 1 to 11. If you have not watched that video, please find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So before we begin our video today, please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos. So question number 12 from exercise 1.3 chapter number 1 arithmetic progression says, find the sum of the first 40 positive integers divisible by 6. So here we have to find out the first 40 positive integers Positive integers are the numbers starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and going up to infinity. So we have to find out the first 40 positive integers which is divisible by number 6. So the first number which is divisible by number 6 from these uh, positive integers is obviously 6. Okay, 6 is the first number which is divisible by itself. Then you can write the multiples of 6. So 6, 6 2s are 12 or 6 plus 6 it is 12. Again 6 3s are 18. 6 4s are 24 and so on up to 40 positive integers. Okay, they are telling us 40 terms. So this will be up to 40 terms. Okay, we don't know what is this 40th term. We can also find out the 40th term by multiplying 40 into 6. So 6 zeros are 0, 6 fours are 24. This is the 40th term or the nth term. Uh, this is how we find the AP. So now let us find out the sum. The sum can be found out by Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. We can use this formula also we can use Sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus l because here we know the nth term the nth term or a n or the last term is nothing but 240 which we found out. We can use either this formula or th this formula any one formula can be found out since we already know that the last term is 240. So let us find out what is the first term a a is equal to 6 and the common difference d will be a2 minus a1 that is 12 minus 6 which is equal to 6 because there is since this is a multiple of 6 obviously the difference will be a common difference will be 6 between the terms and also what is the n value the n value will be equal to 40 since we are finding out the sum for the 40 terms so n value is equal to 40 so let us substitute the these values in the formula and find out the result so the sum of 40 terms is equal to n is 40 divided by 2 into 2 into a is 6 plus n is 40 minus 1 into d is again 6 so this will be 2 1 times 2 20 times so 20 into 6 2s are 12 plus 40 minus 1 is 39 into 6 so what is 39 into 6 9 6 are 54 6 3s are 18 19 20 21 22 23 so this is 234 so this will be 20 into 12 plus 234 or this will be 20 into 4 plus 2 is 6 3 plus 1 it is 4 and this will be 2 so what is 20 into 246 0 into anything is 0 then 6 2s are 12 carry 1 4 2s are 8 9 2 2s are 4 so the sum of the 40 terms is equal to 4 9 2 0 therefore let us write down the sum of first 40 positive integers divisible by 6 is 4920. The question number 13 from exercise 1.3 says find the sum of the first 15 multiples of 8. This question is very much similar to the previous one. There we have to find out the multiples of first 40 multiples of 6 but here we are we are finding out the first 15 multiples of 8. Okay, So let us write down the multiples of 8 first. So the first number is 8 then 8 2s are 16, 
एट थ्री जा ट्वेंटी फोर एट फोर जा थर्टी टू एंड सो ऑन अप टू द फिफ्टीन मल्टीपल्स वी हैव टू राइट डाउन सो वॉट इज फिफ्टीन इन टू एट एट फाइव जा फोर्टी एट वन जा एट प्लस फोर इट इज ट्वेल्व सो इट इज वन ट्वेंटी सो फिफ्टीन मल्टीपल इज वन ट्वेंटी सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द सम ऑफ दीज फिफ्टीन मल्टीपल्स सिंस वी ऑलरेडी नो द एंथ टर्म और द लास्ट टर्म ऑफ द ए पी वी कैन यूज द फॉर्मूला टू फाइंड द सम एस एन इज इक्वल टू एन डिवाइडेड बाई टू ए प्लस एल सो वॉट इज द फर्स्ट टर्म ए इज इक्वल टू एट कॉमन डिफरेंस डी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन माइनस एट That is a two minus a one. It is equal to eight. Since the AP is a multiple of eight, so common difference will be eight. Then what is the n value? Since we have to find out sum of the first fifteen multiples of eight, so n value will be equal to fifteen. So let us substitute the values and find out the sum. So s fifteen is equal to fifteen divided by two. A is eight plus the last term L is equal to one twenty. So this is L is one twenty. So this will be fifteen divided by two into what is eight plus one twenty? It is one twenty eight. So two one times to six to the twelve to four the eight. So what is fifteen into sixty four? Five four the twenty four one the four plus two it is six. In two six five is a thirty, so six one is a six plus three is nine. This is zero six and nine. So the result is nine sixty. Therefore, the sum of first fifteen multiples of eight it is nine sixty. Therefore, let us write down the sum of first fifteen multiples of eight is nine sixty. Now coming to the fourteenth question from exercise one point three, which says find the sum of the odd numbers between zero and fifty. Okay, so we have to find the sum of the odd only the odd numbers between zero and fifty. If they have mentioned between zero and fifty, then we should not consider zero and fifty. We have to consider the terms between zero and fifty. So zero, one, two, three, and so on. Up to fifty, and before fifty we have forty nine and forty eight. So we have to consider the terms between zero and fifty. We have to start cons considering the terms from one to forty nine. So let us write down the odd numbers between one to forty nine. The numbers which are not divisible by two are said to be the odd numbers. So one, three, five, and so on. And the forty nine is the last odd number. Okay. so this is the ap so now we have to find out the sum so let us write down the sum formula since we already know the last term so we will uh, consider the formula sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus l where l or the last term is 49 a is the first term which is 1 and we have to find out the n value here the n value is not given so we have to find out the n value first we also know that the last is nothing but equal to the nth term which is equal to again 49 so by using this nth term we will find out the n value first so what is the nth term formula an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d so here we know the a value we know nth term value we also know the d value from the ap so d will be A two minus A one that is three minus one equal to two. So we know the d value also. We will substitute here and find out the first n value. What is the nth term? Forty nine is equal to A is one plus n. We have to find out and d is two. So forty nine is equal to one plus two n minus two, or forty nine is equal to two one minus two is minus one plus two n. Or if we send this minus one to the left hand side, we will get forty nine plus one is equal to two n, or fifty is equal to two n, or n is equal to fifty divided by two. That is n is equal to twenty five. So we got the n value. So here we got the n value, which is equal to twenty five. Now substitute this value in the formula of sum to find out the sum. So s twenty five is equal to twenty five divided by two into a is 
1 plus the last term is 49. So, this will be 25 divided by 2 into 49 plus 1 it is 50. So, 2 1 times 2 25 times. So, what is 25 into 25? So, S25 is equal to 625. Therefore, the sum of the odd numbers between 0 and 50 is 625. Therefore, let us write down the sum of the odd numbers between 0 and 50 is 625. So, this is how we solve these problems. If you have any doubts, please comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I will be solving the question number 15 from exercise 1.3, chapter number 1, arithmetic progressions. So, till then, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.